pretty good EXP. Uh, I'm just gonna go down here. Alright. And we don't want to fight uh, fire spirits here. Those are the worst enemies to fight because you have to take, like, you have to build up tension and then attack. Um, so we need about 50 some, 51 more EXP right now before we get to uh, the boss. Hopefully, maybe this will be three. Oh, we want the boot. We don't want that guy. All right, hopefully it's two of them again. All right, one's fine. Let's see, and we need... We'll go ahead and heal, heal Hero up. And welcome back, everybody. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Just kind of walking through this dungeon, doing, doing a little bit of a grind. We need about 13 more EXP um, before we get to the boss, and then we'll be right in line for where we should be. Yanger gets to level 5 here, and now we give him the agility boost through Fisticuffs. Go ahead and attack this guy. This will be all we need. Hopefully Yangus goes for the babble here. Okay, well he didn't kill him. There we go. Alright, we're good on experience. So this first uh, fight is kind of scripted. I am going to make a safety save just in case the worst stuff happens. There's like one, you can get damage rolled um, by one attack in this battle and party wipe because of it. So just to avoid that, we're going to make a little safety save. Um, you'll see me making a lot of safety saves uh, through this entire run. Um, basically, um, you, you just... It's, it's for safety. It's, they're called safety saves for a reason, so we'll go ahead and make one right by the crystal ball here. And it's that. It's that easy. Um, most of the time, if I was doing a run, um, like on my stream, I would be going the first hour with no safety saves, maybe before the squid. But yeah, this guy pretty much does the same thing every every single. I mean, he's on a cycle of pat a pattern of for his attacks, so we know what he's going to do. Yangus will always upturn him. Hero, not so much. So hero cannot be cursed. That is part of the lore. So as long as, uh, okay, that's fine. Now he's going to do a curse here. That's fine. In the next round, we're going to heal Angus. Now, basically, the rest of the battle, we just heal whoever he hits. Hoping he doesn't hit Hero for a ton of damage, but. And we have one more attack to really like fend off, and it's right here. Right? Cool.
And just like that, we're through the first dungeon. Now for Hero, uh, what we do here is we give him Defending Champion. It's like an OP skill. It makes it so if he defends, then he takes like a, f a small fraction of the damage that he would if without it. Um, it's how we're going to get through the squid fight. I think a really good thing about um, Dragon Quest in general is that you have um, a lot of things in common with every single game. Between monsters, the sounds, even some of the music, especially in the later games, they really bring back, reuse a lot of the music. The spells. Even so much of, like, the cost of a boomerang is, like, always 420. Alright, here we're going to use the Strength Seed on Yangus. Well, first we're going to do this. Put in the bag. And we got one. So, he can roll one or two for the Strength Seeds. We're hoping to get twos, but we got a one. It's fine. We'll manage. All right, now we're gonna deck ourselves out with some stuff. Get a few wings. All right. And that's pretty much everything that we need outside of a weapon for Yangus before the squid. So we're just going to continue on here and continue with the story here. We're bringing the crystal ball back to the great Calderasha. I and it you see, but you are, and you are, wow, it's evil. Give it! I think... Yeah. So we get to sleep here, which is nice. And the photo quest continues. We're going to keep taking pictures for the first, like, hour and a half of the game. No, mashing th for this game is actually really nice because you can use the D-pad to mash. So you can just swivel around in the D-pad. I tend to, like, mash with A as well. Sometimes I'll use the shoulder buttons as well, but pretty much everything advances text. Alright, and we're going to take a picture of him. And move on. So we're on a quest. We're, we're kind of following Dolmagus at this point. He's kind of going around. Um, basically, uh, the Kaldarasha just told us that he went uh, south. And so now there's not an invisible plot wall in our way, so we can actually get there. It was very visible, actually. All right, so uh, on all these walks, you're going to see me uh, messing with the camera view. And it's because monsters only appear where your camera is aimed. 
I mean, they can kind of appear next to you a little bit, but for the most part, they appear in front of you. So you'll see, like, right here, they appear just kind of in front of us and go in random directions. Um, if we don't like where they're at, we can just despawn them. Um, so it's really important to know which monsters will chase us, which monsters are faster than us, stuff like that. Um, slimes are not faster than us. The only thing faster than us around here are the bunnies. Lips are not faster than us. Those bunnies, they are faster than us. Now, if one of them aggros us, it's fine. We can actually just equip cancel. <laughs> and it resets the encounters on the map. So technically, we should not get into any random encounters uh, during this run. Nice little close-up of the slime there. Right, we got a little archer here. All right, this guy's kind of in and out. And that's how you get rid of him. It's really that easy. But you have to you have to catch that he's going to come at you. I took a gamble there on if he was going to go left or right and So I was like pretty much ready for him to come after me. He is faster than me as well. So are all Drakis. So we're in a different area now, so there's different enemies. Okay. Um, and this is Alexandria. Okay. This guy. And inside here we meet the true hero of the game. Banger Z. And MASH. Otherwise known as Bangers and MASH. They're right there. And they're here to uh, protect the town from people like us. Well, actually evil people, but... We're just, we're not gonna hate Banger Z. Like, that would just be cruel. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna go in, ahead and go to the mansion. Now, the way the clock works in this game, uh, it's a little later now than it is in the PlayStation version. Like, you really have to kind of book it to get here before the sun goes down in the 3DS version. If you dilly-dally around too much, you have to stay at the end then. But we're good. In. And we're going in here because not only are there some nice items here, but this is the only way to advance the plot. Also, this this music was stolen by Disney, yes. And now we're gonna be Munchie. We get to do be Munchie about three times in the run. He just flips if you uh, mash it, which is great. It is neither sl slower nor faster to do the flips, but it's a lot more fun. Alright, and getting up this broom is sometimes hard. Yeah, we made it. There we go. So, this is actually Jessica's room. Um, and she left a note there. Right now, Banger Z and Mash are guarding the door, so you can't get into the room. So, the only way to get in there is with uh, Munchie and this hole.
But we find out that she went over to the tower and is, like, investigating her brother's death. So we're finally giving Yanga some armor. And we're gonna read this letter to Banger Z. Yeah, I can confirm being able to fly around in Builders 2 made it amazing. And the sandbox is super fun in Builders 2. Alright, so Banger Z is gonna help us open the door to the uh, tower. Oh, oh, listen. Yes. Good. And right here, um, once we get out of town, you're gonna see kind of how we can avoid encounters in a different way. And I've alluded to it already, but like the way the camera is aimed is gonna be how the monsters appear and so if you walk towards the camera the monsters only appear behind you and so yeah if you can train yourself to walk this way through the whole game um then you're probably not gonna get into many encounters now there is one notorious monster that's right around here it's he's over there <laughs> we get to this tower and uh right here this is why banger z came with us we trust him it's only um <clears throat> supposed to be people from alexandria that can get in here <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, there's some tight corridors in here. Um, this guy is totally gonna see me? Okay, he didn't. <coughs> now, another thing that uh, is different in this version is all the maps are already given to you. So the map chests, where you would get them in the PlayStation version, is actually just money. So that's how we're gonna get a lot. Okay, we're fighting this apparently. By fighting, I mean we're running. Yeah. <coughs> now right here, we're going to this door and we're unlocking it and it's gonna be a shortcut because we are gonna come back to this tower again. really important chest here seed of agility um seeds are really important in dragon quest games now we use them in different ways in in dq8 a lot of times you use them just to get your um party members like overpowered so that they can survive at lower levels um in dq8 we're gonna use it more for alchemy In fact, the only seeds we're really going to use are strength seeds. And we're going to get our other strength seed right here. Hoping to roll a two on that one. But again, if we roll a one, it's fine. Okay. Glad that guy didn't see me. All right, so here we're gonna walk into towards the camera again. I'm trying to get a monster to appear over there, and it did. And we're good here. Okay. So yeah, because this is a, a tight corridor, and you'll see the second half of it, 
how like monsters appear here. I, walking towards the camera there is just really handy. So yeah, this is what it kind of looks like. We want to see heal slimes here. All right, we aggroed him, so we're gonna go in here. Again, we're not taking any chances with trying to dodge these monsters right here. All right, and that's this tower. Uh, so we're gonna get up here and examine the statue, and then. So she thinks that we were the ones that uh, killed her brother at this point. Wait. Lucky for us, the statue has some mysterious qualities. And she, uh, Alistair, her brother, explains to her, basically tells the story of how he actually came to die and who was behind it. Oh, doesn't this guy look goofy? It's a jester. Quite a spell. Do what I now do. Yeah, jesters jesters are never bad in RPGs. Never. Actually, okay, so here's my my thing is the tower music is some of my favorite music in the game, so I love coming back to this tower. <laughs> oh, Sylve. Silv, Sylve is my fave. Sylve's my boy. Our first core blimey. If anyone has a core blimey email, use it in chat. And always take a picture. So there was a lot going on there. Not only did the story get fulfilled, but we took a picture. We're actually taking a picture of the statue, but Jessica happens to be crying in it, and yeah. All right, and here's Banger Z waiting for us at the end. And uh, Banger Z is basically paying for our in-stay here, which is really nice because we're still poor. Trode's uh, working through the night. All right. 
right, so moving on with this, uh, we're gonna go back to the mansion and see what's up with Jessica now. Grabbing this wing. Or holy water. That's holy water. Wings inside there. If we. <coughs> you find out where certain things are in case if you accidentally use the wrong item. There is an extra wing in that building right there. And now we're going up here and we're going to meet the true villain of the game. And here he is. Lorenzo. Now, Lorenzo's basically in every single town we're gonna go to. We, we, you can kind of do, do a Where's Waldo with Lorenzo. I'll point him out when he's in random scenes, but... Also, uh... When I first learned this uh, speedrun, I had never played the game before, so I kind of made up a story. And I always threw Lorenzo into every plot point that I could. So yeah, Jessica's gonna go get her own vengeance. She changed. I'm so oh, yes, Alistair. Just come on. Your mix Yes! Aw. Jessica made Banger Z and Mash cry. Oh. Well, there we are with Lorenzo in the background. Alright, we're gonna take a picture of Jess's mom. This is actually Photo Quest. This is not Dragon Quest. Hey, we got a plus two. So yeah, we used the second string seed and got a plus two there. So we got plus three overall. That's great. Um, the funny thing is, is that for the squid battle, <laughs> Yangus's damage range is like anywhere between like 104 to about 126. And it's based on what the game wants us to have. So yeah, we're walking over to Port Prospect now. Um, okay, that guy is faster than us. That guy is not. So yeah, we definitely want to avoid all encounters between here and Port Prospect. Um, not only are they really hard and we're really underleveled, but also, like, we don't really have the money to stay at the end. Or for extra herbs and everything. So we're, we're pretty much set up for the uh, boss fight right now. Everything's equipped, except for we haven't bought the, a weapon yet for Yangus. So right there with the camera, that was just me getting rid of an encounter that was kind of making his way over to me. I don't really like this bunny. That guy can chase me. So can he. Now, when you despawn an enemy, it actually does respawn somewhere else. So, like, you don't want to despawn him too often. But, yeah, we made it there. Yeah, you can go do Family Doctor if you want um, extra money. I should. All right, this is Cameron Obscura. Definitely not a pun at all. He's in charge of the photo quest. So, we're taking a picture of him. And we actually got a picture of the lighthouse in the same in the same picture there. 
which is part of the photo quest, which is really nice. Yep, puns, puns, puns. Puns for days. Alright, so now we're gonna go do our shopping here. And we're actually buying Yang as a scythe. And he'll use scythes for a little while. Oh. Gotta sell stuff first. And we have 69 gold left over. Nice. That's probably the least amount that I've ever had there. Not gonna lie. That's what happens when you get a seed of wisdom. In the blue chest. The only difference is, like, you can actually, if you get enough money, you can buy a second scale shield, but you totally don't need it for this uh, boss fight at all. So, I'm definitely making a, safe, a safety save here, because it takes no time, and... There you go. Um, so... This fight is absolutely fine, as long as level 6 hero doesn't outturn the squid. Yangus can outturn him, except on healing rounds. <coughs> so that's one out of six rounds, Yangus can, as long as Yangus doesn't outturn on the fire breath round, it's fine. Hero, though, outturning is really bad. I might be able to scramble and save. Uh, the uh, fight, but a lot of times you're just dead. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna be using defending champion with hero. Um, for most of the round, or for two or three of the rounds, it depends on who the squid single targets. Um. But and then this this fight is basically on a six. Uh, round cycle. Fire Breath, single target, AoE, single target, AoE, uh, single target, and then it repeats. And so we want to do three, we want to do this in three rounds of that cycle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, it all comes down to Hero chilling out, so, Hero, it is 3.45 in the morning, let's be chill. Another thing that we're using here is uh, tactics with hero, which you can't assign hero tactics in the PlayStation version. That's a 3DS exclusive. All right, so here's defending champion. Huge difference in damage there, right? Yeah. All right. Cool hero. All right, so. Okay. All right, hey, Genghis. Oh, this is fine. All right. All right, we've recovered from that. Hero needs to slow down. Like, hardcore needs to slow down. Alright, minus 14.
Oh gosh. Okay, good. <laughs> Nerve wracking there. Uh, minus 28. We guessed right. All right, GG. All right, we scrambled and got it, so. <laughs> I'll take it. It's not very often that you run out of MP in that fight that early. I really needed I really needed to get lucky there and I did. Um with hero with uh Calamari single targeting uh Yangus there. No. It would have been fine, but it was a lot less sketchy that way. But yeah, I'm really Happy that uh, we are beyond the squid. Yeah, it's a little sad that we don't get to use Jessica for that fight. So as you can see, like even with a plus three on the strength seeds, we got um, a 106, 106, and 116. Sometimes if you get plus four, you get like 126s. Um, but I absolutely had to uh, make up the HP that we weren't getting with the uh, hero throwing out the holy water there at the end. Alright, and moving on. Actually, we got dressed. So I've got... More party members. She does the twirl. Win-win. Well. And we get back on the show. Um... I'm pretty sure that's about the most. Um, it's been so long since I said no. Um, I've absolutely um, said no to everything in this game at some point. Alright, so here we're going to get Hero and Yangus' backstory. So, Yangus and the Gov. Just chilling out on the bridge like you would. Just going to a bridge like you would. Oh, 
DWD Welp. I was watching um, the... No. Star Tropics run earlier, and I forgot that Darkwing Duck had that song in one of the late chapters for the long for the long hallway um and the funny thing is that Darkwing Duck made a song in this game as well for the barrel room at the end of the game but it just cracked me up I was just like how many games has Darkwing Duck made songs in it, probably quite a few alright so we save Yangus here Tro didn't want to. And that's why Trode and Yangus don't really get along. They just butt heads the whole game. But that's why he also loves Hero. Whoa, this is... what and Jessica's done. I should still. Alright, so we're gonna go inside here. Grab a few very important seeds. So we get a seed of life and seed of agility. Like I said, uh, these seeds, as opposed to other Dragon Quest game uh, speedruns, in other uh, speedruns you would use it to buff up your character's uh, stats with being low levels, but in this one you're going to use them to craft things with the alchemy uh, pot, which is what we're getting right now. I can and we will use it right away. Captain, Billy, ay ay. Seed feasting. I don't know what. Seed feasting is. I've just never heard the, uh... Oh! No, it's... It's not like, uh, DQ3. Like, if you... If you get extra stats, it doesn't take it away during the next level. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is a little ideal menu thing. And now we're gonna alchemize. And we are making this whip, and we're gonna sell it right away. Because it's worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, DQ3 H, uh, 2D HD is going to be awesome. We're rich. Alright, that's basically just setting up our heels for the next boss fight that we have. It's gonna be a while before we get there. Because first thing we have to do is get all of our zoom points on this continent. Uh, that leather kilt that we pick up there is uh, gonna be Yangus's armor. And from here, we get an iron nail, which we're gonna use later um, to craft something that'll give us 
basically, it will give us a lot of money. It'll be part of the money grind that we do after all the lizard fights. So, you probably saw how that red slime respawned after I despawned it. This guy is... he's fine. He's not gonna catch me. Or she. Alright. The bells really scare me. Pretty much everything in this area scares me. We're really underleveled. Um, that's gonna change very soon. Bison. Also, those bison move so fast. If you get near one, it's gonna like swipe over and like grab you. All right, so we're getting the return point here from my abbey. We'll be back here, but we're gonna go over to Simpleton right now and advance the plot over there. And in Simpleton, uh, we're going straight to the bar, and, um, of course, because, you know, when in Simpleton. Um, and, uh, this is everyone's favorite scene. Um, first thing we have to do, though, is take a picture. <laughs> of course. We're taking lots of pictures. And we're trying to get a picture of two things here. I think we got it. We need that golden slime. Yeah, we got them both. So we got the bar and the golden slime. Go over. Oh, and this guy. This guy's playing poker. Not... He's just chilling. Angelo's like wearing my uh, costume from when I was in Madrigals. <laughs> One arm. One arm, Yangus. This is absolutely the best bar scene ever. <laughs> Go on, give him a good dip. <laughs> Trode. That's the best thing about this game, is that it's a, it's a pretty serious game, but there's a lot of comic relief in it. He was... Still... Alright, so we get the ring from him, and he's like, yeah, if you want to come see me. Show him the ring. So we'll do that. But first, we're going to get the zoom points. Alright, so we have quite a big walk here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is walk over to Scantha. Um, and we're stopping at the Riverside Chapel on the way there. Uh, we're going to grab a picture and milk a cow at the same time. This guy is in my way. And that was totally one of those examples. Oh, the bison came around there. Um, of I didn't want it respawning. So I wanted to keep him in the camera. So yeah, now we're definitely going into areas where we're extremely underleveled. Um, so we definitely don't want to get into any encounters here. Um, we basically 
beat the squid at level six. And it's basically so the only reason we do that is to keep our agility as low as possible so that we don't go before the squid. Um, because then we can react to what he does in the battle. And because of that, the game never doesn't think that you're going to beat the squid at level six. So there's no real... Yeah. In other words, everything is just wanting you to be higher leveled here. The slime knights are very fast here, so if we see a slime knight, we're definitely going to stay as far away from them as possible. Um, pretty much everything else is uh, we can outrun right here. Okay, we're going to stop in this church over here, uh, go inside and grab a seed. Again, this is all for alchemy for later. And now on the walk to Escantha, we just need a picture of Ellipse. And there's plenty of them, so we don't really have to go out of our way to s if we see one. <coughs> one will eventually end up right in front of us. There it is. So we'll grab this picture. Yeah, there's there's tons of us. That's for the photo quest. Um, there, we're almost done taking pictures. We we're very close. I think we got one, two, three, four, five pictures left. Scary slime night. So yeah, the the enemies are different between uh, daytime and nighttime. Um, up here, we're gonna see our first cow of the game, and we will definitely be milking it. Okay. So, yep, here you go. We'll see which way this slime knight turns. Alright, he didn't come after us, so that's nice. That one as well. Awesome. So we made it to Escantha. Unfortunately, uh, prayer rings uh, that we're going to be making are not going to be used as prayer rings, but just for more alchemy. Alright, we need to take one more picture here. Alright, so we got both those pictures, the dog and the banners. Now, it really works out here because we need to be here at nighttime in order to advance this. So just walking here, it turns into night. It's just, it's super convenient. That's another reason why we do it right now. Because you can really do this at any point. And then we're gonna take a picture here. Yet another crying person. And we find out that it's the king. King Pavan. And that's why all uh, the whole like castle is decked out in black. It's reflecting the king's emotional state. Here's Emma. And Emma's like, oh no. She tells us about how we need to talk to her grandma to find out how he we can help the king through his uh, problems. Of course, we know we already know where to go, so we don't have to talk to her, her grandma. But her grandma lives uh, over by uh, the Riverside Chapel in the other house that we walk past.
And now, it's possible that I just, uh, did I just smash through it? He talks later. I do know that. Now we're gonna walk over to pick him. And yet again, the monsters even get more difficult here, so we absolutely want to avoid all encounters here. Um, soon we will be into a metal grind. And then we'll actually have decent enough levels. We're not touching that blue chest. So yeah, like, if something's coming at me, I'll despawn it, but if it's, like, walking the other direction, then I don't really want to despawn it, because you can always respawn it in a really unfortunate location. Tree face. Alright, now we're getting into the hunter zone. The hunters are, uh, those scary monsters from Dragon Warrior 2. See, that was me respawning him into a very unfortunate place. I think everyone remembers the first time they played Dragon Warrior 2 and got through a hunter, and the hunter just, like, destroyed them on their walk. Yeah, that's how I feel about the hunters in this area. It's, like, absolutely afraid of them. Especially at these levels. I believe they're also quicker than us, too. That guy is not. I mean, they certainly, even when they're moving around the the world before they're aggroed, they look like they've hit, like eaten an energy bar that's laced with uh, caffeine. I mean, they're always running. All right. Chimeras or wyverns, whatever you want to call them. Very sketchy. They have a fire breath attack that can just kill us. Alright, cool. We made it to this town. Uh, now we're going to go back to uh, the... Um, the church where we were before. And we're going to do a little metal grind. Uh, so we want to kill at least two. Maybe if we can get lucky, we can get three. Yo, Jay Coper, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing some DQ8 today. Getting into our first metal grind. We also need a picture of a squid down here. All right, here's our picture of the squid. Now we'll make a quick save. Uh, these metal slimes, we want them to appear with other metal slimes and not other monsters. It's very important because these monsters can just destroy us. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and respawn this area. Haven't seen any yet. They're hiding. So 
So yeah, this is a way to spawn enemies in this game, and we will see this very much with the liquid metal slime grind later. Alright, so here's one. Alright, we need it to chill out. Because if it gets behind us, it can despawn itself. Okay. I got, I got impatient. Alright, so there's three of them. We're hoping one or two stay. Okay, stay. Okay. Now they can have three or four HP, so we're hoping that it has three HP. Because we have three people. Great. Alright, that's one. Um, uh, Just in the 3DS version, the PlayStation version can't do it here because... Well, you don't want to do it outside because it takes longer to load the battles. Here's another metal up here, and we're hoping that, again, we're hoping that it's just the metal and that he's only bringing other metals as friends. Okay. All right, one stayed, so that's good. Two stayed. So we'll have maybe a chance at killing three? All right, we got our second one, which is great. All right, here we go. That's fine. All right, so that's all the levels that we need. Yingus here is going to get some points into axes and scythes. And Jessica's going to get points into knives here. That's very important for later. All right, I do not want to encounter th this encounter. Okay. That was a pretty good, decent uh, metal slime grind there. Um, it was... It took a while for them to show up, but once they did show up, at least they stuck around. So that's kind of nice. Um, and so, yeah. We're g now making our way up to Wisher's Peak here. Again, we're trying to avoid all encounters in here. There's going to be one that appears here. Should have taken a picture of how close I got to that zombie. Alright, I'll say this a few times during the run. It's interesting how, like... Uh, these the overworld encounters sometimes it feels like they're just all charging right at you and sometimes it feels like they're like giving you peace and like going all going the other direction right now it feels like they're all coming at me <laughs> we'll see right here there's usually like a tree face up here oh also I have to s sit there and wait for Wisher's Peak for nighttime so I'm gonna st uh, stand up and take a little break um but it basically is two minutes so yeah we're gonna take a picture of course because you gotta take a picture and i'll be right back
So yeah, it's uh, really important. Uh, we, we have to wait for the shadow to come over here. Um, here, I'll turn the camera around. We're waiting for that shadow to come onto the wall. And it's actually longer in the 3DS version than uh, the PlayStation 2 version. By about a minute, which is kind of nice because it gives us a little longer of a break. Um, I just look at the wall because it's where we're going. It's where the, um, it's where the door appears. But yeah, we're going into the moon shadow realm here. Um, and we're grabbing Ishmari. And Ishmari is going to help us with the king. So yeah, and also in the PlayStation 2 version of this game, uh, the speedrun, you do all this with after you get Angelo. But we do it before we get Angelo because we can get the metal slimes. And then don't have to grind out in the Ruined Abbey. Yo, Lear, thanks, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Well, Ishmari is welcoming you. Oh yeah, the platforms are something else. Oh, I probably haven't. I don't think I talked about it, but like the uh, another big difference between the PlayStation Two version and this version is that um you do a uh, diagonal walking to go fastest in the playstation 2 version but the fastest way to walk in this version is with your back to the camera so basically in a straight line so you'll see me adjusting the camera quite a bit ideally you just kind of want to hold up and move with the camera We're back in Escantha. And now we have this cutscene with the king. Where Ishmari's here now, so. Like I said, he's gonna help us out. So Ishmari is showing the king the good things that he forgot. That's his wife, Queen Sasha. Is that? Also, as far as the photo quest is concerned, we have one more photo to take. And then we should have all 16.
Good luck. All right. And in my story of Dragon Quest VIII, Lorenzo creates a, 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 like a little contraption that does all those banners at once and then releases the, the nice banners. So Lorenzo's doing that in my version of Dragon Quest VIII. Check out Yangus eating. I can't. I spell. All right, and we're done here. All right, so now it's time to go to my abbey, um, and talk to Angelo, figure out what's going on there. We're on team right on that that door there. You can go left or right, but I'm choosing team right for that one. And you can come here earlier and you get these cutscenes earlier. Um, halt. I don't this cutscene is actually the one that the second cutscene. <laughs> you need leave. And right after this one plays, it plays the original cutscene that we never saw. I so it kind of sequence breaks itself. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think this isn't in the correct order. Yeah, because now we're showing them that we have the ring. And they let us in. So this is, uh, that's Marcello. How much? He's not evil at all. <clears throat> You're not. It's temp. I'm here. Cross me. I mean, he's actually not evil right now. Maybe a little ambitious. And here's our last picture. And Lorenzo's in it. He's saying that we need to get to the abbot's residence, but the only way to get there is through the the uh, ruined uh, abbey. So we're gonna do that, but first we're gonna turn in this photo quest and do a little shopping, because right now we don't really have weapons. Oh, well, we don't have a weapon for hero right now, I should say. We have some weapons. Alright, so we're turning in the photo quest. We hope to see 16 here. Good. We're good. We got all the photos. Alright. Seed skill we'll use on hero. Double bubble we'll use later, and this is going to be Hero's weapon. Mm -hmm. 
And we're actually buying a stone axe here, and that's going to be Yangus' axe for a while. stuff to do. Uh, Jessica. No, I just chose it. I got a little uh, weird with the capitalization. So yeah, now we're off to the Ruined Abbey. Now that we have our equips and everything kind of lined up. Um, again, we're just trying to avoid encounters here. Especially with bells and jargons. They're definitely the most dangerous things that we'll have here. This guy, too. Uh, we're not afraid of the slime. Now, you can walk backwards here, but with that notorious monster roaming around, I don't really want to chance it. The slimes will not chase us right now. We're high enough level. So, seeing slimes there, it's a good feeling. There's always something right here. It is a slime. And nothing appeared here. All right, there is a potential for an uh, an encounter in here while we're walking backwards. We're just hoping that it doesn't happen. I do have tomorrow off. Uh, right when I got this time, I actually decided to take Thursday off. And I'm very happy that I made that decision. So yeah, uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to walk through here. A monster might appear right here. Okay, it did, but it did not aggro, so that's nice. And then one can appear right here. We're hoping it doesn't. It didn't. And then we're going to walk towards the camera for a little bit. Again, apologies. It's awkward walking towards the camera. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend just going, getting your, loading up your 3DS and trying to walk towards the camera. All right, there's a metal slime right in our way, and we don't want it. We needed to unequip Biangus anyway, so it's fine. All right, and we're at Tortured Soul. Uh, Tortured Soul can summon adds, which just kind of takes time. Uh, also, the um, Sizzle is kind of an annoying attack. So we, we'd rather not see Sizzle. We'd love to see all physicals here. So first thing we have to do is accelerate everyone. Okay. <laughs> Summons on round one. Alright, so now we have to be kind of careful. Um, we'll go ahead and have him heal himself. I have one more thing to set up. Hopefully there's no sizzle here. Great. We'll go ahead and heal himself. Yeah. We got the double set on. So now 
Uh, Jessica's gonna be our healer for the rest of this battle. Roll there. All right, tortured soul down. Outside of the uh, summons round one there, it was a pretty good battle. Yinkus here is actually getting his crit ability, which is extremely important with what's coming up next. And for the most part, we don't really care about Jessica's uh, skill points for a while, so. All right, now we get into the cutscene gauntlet. Uh, one thing about walking towards the camera, um, if you see the lower screen, um, a lot of times you can just follow the map, and it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, that's definitely one of those D Dragon Quest dungeons where all the monsters are still in the dungeon after you beat the boss. So yeah, we've arrived at uh, the Abbot's Residence here. As you can see, there's guards blocking the bridge, so we wouldn't have been able to get here. Yeah, a lot of cutscenes now. It's the funny looking guy. Look, he's smiling. He's he's not bad. He's definitely not bad, right? And Bad you'll be what? 